Welcome back to the show. It's our first episode here on Irregardless Productions Games. I'm Nick. Today we're playing City Skylines. I've been watching a guy play it online. His name is Nathan Sandbox, and I wanted to play too. So here we go. I'm going to click New Game. Nathan Sandbox picked Two Rivers, so that's what I'm going to do too. Now, I am a gaming expert and definitely know everything I'm doing, as you can tell. Demolishing, that has to do with a uh, bulldozer, I think. So if you want to demolish a graveyard, it's got to be emptied first. Definitely knew that. Definitely have played this game since four or five years ago. The game crashed. Hooray. Super great. <laughs> Let's try again. Okay. Looks like the game is back on. I'm going to hit that new game button again with two rivers. And we'll hit start. I wonder if we'll get a brand new tip we did hydro power plants the power production of a hydro power plant depends on the difference in the water level on the different sides of the dam wow i don't know what that means i guess the higher the water the more power you get right that makes the game crashed again and yet it seems to have loaded i wonder if i can i just play with the thing on Oh, I do have some mods installed that Nathan Sandbox had installed. I don't know how to do any of this stuff. So I would say throw your tips and information in the comments, but you know, we'll see how it, we'll see how it all goes. All right, I'm gonna build this two lane road. All right, I know we got a road going in and a road going out. So why don't we put this road there and we'll put this road here going out. And we'll do a little, look at that. We got ourselves a sweet little U. The mods that I have installed, I don't know what they are. I just copied what Nathan Sandbox had. It's like the traffic one, the city vitals, cause that looked pretty convenient on his stream that I was watching. And he's got something about multiple trees. I guess I'll put together a, a list. I don't know how to use any of this stuff, so. And like I said, I, I played this game a few years ago and then today. So I played a game earlier just to make sure that everything was working right. And so here we are. That's why there's no bird at the top because Nathan Sandbox didn't have one. I guess we should get some people. This is our only option. The low density residential. I don't want to do that. Let's put the people on the outside like that. You know, people like to go to stores, not that far of a walk. So we'll do that. All right. Come on in, people. Got your land and your stores already got. Oh, we're gonna need some water. Can I only do, do I have to be connected to the ocean or the river? Let's just go ahead and build this thing. I don't really care. Which way is the water going? Looks like it's going that way. I'm gonna put that there and we'll drag. Let's turn off time and we'll run a pipe here and a pipe there. Now everybody's got water. We need some electricity, and we'll just put that up here too, because, sure, we'll start off with two of those guys. We got water, we got power, and uh, well, it looks like we got our first people coming in. This is going to be the Garnets. Kevin Garnett, he played the basketball. How exciting. The Empires, he played the basketball. How is the building doing? I, I don't want to read that. The name of our... Road is Home Street. Faith Holmes. Great. Oh, you can change it. Oh, we made power, but we didn't actually give it to anyone. So why don't we do that? Put a little power line here and connect it to our... Does it just have to touch the, the area? Yeah. This symbol is for poop. Great. I forgot about that. Drainage sewage in Nathan sandbox he put his waste down that way so I'm going to copy I'm just gonna straight up copy but can I just connect this right to there looks like I can did that work sewage treatment water's good electricity is good uh, okay hooray it worked we got ourselves 87 people how about that huh uh, so like I was saying, it's my first time doing this, so excuse the inexperience, but I thought it would be fun. 
We're going to need to give people jobs besides working in the commercial district. I guess we'll have to build another road. We'll take this road. We'll put the industry out here. How about that? Does that sound good for everybody? Sure it does. Sure it does. Because people, people love living next door to a factory. Why don't we... No. No, I don't. I don't. Let's pause time. I don't care for this. Because, like I said, nobody likes to live next to a factory. You know, and honestly, the reason I wanted to play this game was I wanted to... I wanted to solve a traffic problem because I was like, I bet I could do this. And immediately I'm like, no, you can't. I cannot do this. I don't know what I'm doing. I saw that there's an option to download some DLC for uh, like solving a traffic problem, but that like involves spending of the money and, you know, I don't want to. So I guess I just won't. Unless you really want to see it because I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right. Connect the power line. It made that noise. I don't know what that noise means. Let's energize the system. Nobody's doing anything. It says, does this mean no power or nobody's here? What does this mean? I got, is it not connected? It looked like it's connected. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we just needed a building to start. How exciting. Like I said, it's been a few years since I played this game, except for when I turned it on about an hour ago just to make sure that everything worked. Definitely did not get the game has crashed warning that I got twice now at the beginning. So that's interesting. I don't understand how I'm able to play this seemingly crashed game, but it's going great. Um, people are getting to work. Let's see, we got an ice cube factory. We got a shirt factory that no one works at. Uh, all right, so we got people with jobs. What's this one? A lot of ice cube factories in this town. It's good, I guess. I don't... Oh, a box factory. You don't want to end up as some schmo working in a box factory. Ugh, not the box factory again, Seymour. <laughs> can I build a park? I don't think I can do anything. So this is the exciting part of the game where everything seems super easy and I'm already kind of lost. So not a good sign. Can't do anything past this line. Got this fancy on-ramp and off-ramp from the highway. Where's this guy going? Huh? Who are you? Sports car, eh? And we're losing money. Not sure how to make money. It seems like we have everything we need. Guess we could build some more houses, so... Let's do that. We'll, we'll destroy the house we already have. <laughs> And we'll bring this over here, and we'll pop down some more houses. How's that sound? Yeah, sounds good to me too. We got our commercial district here, general store. That's good. You gotta buy some sandwiches. What do you sell? A lot of general stores. Probably too many, really. I mean, how many Wawa's do you need? Sewage treatment is at zero? Does that mean we've got no sewage, or... We don't have sewage treatment. Oh, it doesn't have power. Okay. Well, let's fix that. Did that work? Now, why is this... This symbol is a lightning bolt and not the unplugged thing. There it is. Everyone's gray sludge. Okay, so sewage treatment is is good. Okay, so that does count. Oh, and this tells you how much exactly... Oh, this is a pretty nice mod. I remember before you had to go into, like, all of these things to figure out that information. I think this mod's called City Vitals. And I'm not very experienced in the world of mods, so we all have that to look forward to as well. And we got this guy, uh, is this guy walking? Running quickly, huh? Charlie. Chuck Webb, he's going to work at the box, oh, uh, he's that schmo that works at the box factory. What's that building over there? That's just a TV studio where they film Krusty the Cloud and other non-box-related programs. Well, we all have our roles to play. Go get them, Charlie. You know, we need boxes. People need boxes. I don't mean to disparage the box factory worker. Many interesting and important things have been put into boxes over the years. Textiles, other boxes, even children's candy. Do any of these boxes have candy in them? No. Will they ever? 
No, we only make boxes to ship nails. And this building has no water. Well, how about that? Why don't we do this? Well, we could probably just follow the, the roads for water. That's good. I assume this means where the water covers, so... Hooray. And we're still losing money. Let's speed up time. Click. Click. My. Time passes. It seems like just yesterday we started our little town of Rockfield. Can you change the name of the town? You've got to be able to. Yeah. All right. Well, why don't we all work together on a good name for the town? So everybody come up with a name. And if I like it, I'll go with it. <laughs> all right. So looks like all this is full of industry. We want more houses, but you have housing space. So I don't know why you're not taking it. You want commercial stuff, but you're not taking it. And why is there like a space here? Is it because there's just not enough? See, this is the stuff that confuses me. Like, uh, what do I put here? Is this where I can plant trees? Yeah, whatever, we'll figure it out. As long as we're having fun, we'll keep playing the game, right? So I think we're gonna call it here. Come back for episode two. I was Nick, this was Irregardless Production Games, and uh, if you liked it, like it. If you really liked it, share it with a friend, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. I don't, why is the screen doing this? What happened? Oh, don't worry about that. You're just finished, that's all. Finished? That happens all the time. That's show business for you. One day you're the most important guy who ever lived, the next day you're some schmo working in a box factory. I heard that.